Today's Gospel, Thursday, August 5, is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 16, verses 13 to 23. Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, and he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciple to tell no one that he was the Christ. From that time on, Jesus began to show his disciple that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall never happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. The Gospel of the Lord In today's faithful reflection is from Sister K. Elia from Sower. Sometimes, we tend to think that we know Jesus very well. After spending many times with Him in prayer, scriptures, sacraments, etc. We think we always know what He wants for us and from us. But no one can really know and understand fully the mind of God. There are times when bad things happen and we do not understand why He allowed them. But God, omniscient that He is, sees the whole picture and the good that can emerge from the bad event or situation. In today's Gospel, Jesus rebuked Peter for thinking as human beings do. Jesus' impending death is a must for the good of all. Of course, we couldn't expect Peter to understand this just yet, but eventually he did. What was needed from Peter at that time was faith. Jesus did not need his thoughts or opinion. Today, we are reminded how important it is always attune our minds to that of Christ. We do not know everything, and not everything that happens in our life we will understand. Thus, it is dangerous to depend only on our own intelligence or knowledge. Doing so may just lead us or other people to trouble, pain, or destruction. But when we attune our minds to God's, though there are things that we do not know and understand, it enables us to remain in faith, emerge victorious from our situations, and grow in wisdom. Let us pray. Abba, loving Father, help me always attune my mind to yours. Amen.
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.